Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to use side chaining in LMMS. I've prepared this little drop here, this little drum beat. And as you can hear, it's all clashing and the kick doesn't really punch through the mix like it should, like it's common in house music. So what we're gonna do is create two mixer channels by clicking this plus icon. Then we're gonna go to the kick and send it to the first mixer channel and go to the bass and the chords and send them to the second mixer channel. Then we're gonna add a P controller to the first one and put the space knob to the amount zero and then don't change anything else. Go to the second mixer channel, add effect and look for the calf sidechain compressor. Then you have all these knobs, we're gonna right click on SC level and connect to controller, select user controller and this is the only controller. Now we have the signal from the P controller connected to the SC level. So every time our kick hits, it's, it tells the SC level to go up. And what we're gonna do now is most of these knobs don't really interest us. We're gonna turn the ratio all the way up. Same with the threshold. And then we're gonna turn the detection up to reduce the clicking and now let's see how it sounds. Now you can play around with these two knobs that will tell how fast the vo volume will go up and down again. I would leave a little bit of a tag and then for the re release you can be as creative as you want to be. Now you have a really nice side chain, the kick is really punching through the mix and you have a great rhythm, so here's without the side chain. And now with the side chain. The effect gets a lot clearer if you click on mute effect here and then listen again. So yeah, this was my tutorial on how to use side chaining in LMMS. I hope you learned something and I hope it was helpful. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.